If you guys want to be in with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment. What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny video. Now Age of Triumph has not long landed and I'm guessing you guys have been playing the fuck out of it, which I don't blame ya. Now with it came patch notes for the 2.6.0 patch. I'm guessing you haven't been through it and that's where I come in. I'm going to go through the whole thing for you guys right here, right now. And there's some actually some real interesting changes to go through. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to start with the raids. A raid playlist is now available featuring one raid in the directory each week the recommended light will be 390 new weapons armor armor ornaments gold sparrow shaders and emblems are there to discover players will receive one age of triumph armor ornament token for successful completion of the featured raid once per week per account all challenge modes are enabled on the weekly featured raid Players will receive one Age of Triumph armor ornament token for successful completion of a challenge mode once per character per challenge mode per week. Players will receive a Knuckles of AO by completing a featured raid's opening encounter once per week per account. Use Knuckles of AO, then defeat a raid boss in the weekly featured playlist to receive extra rewards. Knuckles of Ale consumables stack up to a maximum of 5, which is really fucking interesting. I wonder what these extra rewards are. Necrochasm quests maybe? Who knows? Three occurrence should now activate on the following bosses. Templar, Atheon, Eryut and Crota. Added challenge modes to the following encounters. Atheon, Templar, Eryut and Crota. Fixed an issue where killing a yacht would not always end the Death Singer's encounter and players would have to deal with infinitely respawning knights. Sounds quite fun to me. Remove the condition that prevented fire teams of less than three from progressing past the Gorgons in the Vault of Glass. Fixed an issue where one of the door switches in the second Vortic encounter was partially obscured by the wall and difficult to hit with the Seaver charge. Never really had that issue to be honest. Now we're going to move on to the Crucible and the Crucible Director. Updated core nodes to cycle between available activities on a weekly cadence. Node 1 cycles between Control and Clash. Node 2 cycles between Rift and Supremacy. Node 3 cycles between Elimination and Trials of Osiris on a weekend only, obviously. Node 4 cycles between Skirmish and Salvage. And Node 5 cycles between Rumble and Rumble Supremacy. Weekly featured crucible activities consolidated into a single node. Weekly featured activities include combined arms, zone control, mayhem clash, mayhem rumble and doubles. Classic playlists have been removed. Players who do not own Rise of Iron can now access the weekly featured crucible activity. Crucible bounties. Updated crucible daily bounties to be more inclusive, no longer requiring specific subclasses or fire teams. Added new weekly Crucible weapon bounties to the Crucible Quartermaster. Possible weapon rewards include items from the Crucible Vendor, Crucible Playlist, Iron Banner and Trials of Osiris. That is actually pretty fucking badass and I'm guessing this is where the Iris Luna can drop from. Lord Shax will now offer his weekly bounty for both available 6v6 modes each week. Trials of Osiris bounties have been updated. Existing bounties will remain in your inventory and can be completed to acquire their respective rewards. New versions of the bounties will now be offered by Brother Vance and can be completed daily when Trials of Osiris is active. Armor and weapon rewards from bounties updated to include all non-adept year 3 items. Quests. The Crucible quest chain from Lord Shax has been removed. You can now complete the current quest you are on but will not acquire the next quest in the chain. Iron Banner. Dusty Iron Engrams updated to decrypt immediately upon purchase. Dusty Iron Engrams now have a chance to contain Year 2 Iron Companion Armour. Iron Banner Match Rewards updated to include Year 2 Iron Companion Armour. Slightly increased chance for Year 1 and Year 2 Armour Rewards from Iron Banner Matches. Support added for Iron Banner Mayhem Clash. That will be absolutely fucking amazing. Jesus. Some vendor items on FD have had their roles updated. Dated. Trials of Osiris slash elimination. Fixed an issue where a player on the surviving team could use Fireborn to cross the round to continue even when all enemies were dead. 
Now General, made special ammo crates instantly refill your special weapon and pick up, no need to reload. Disable journey progress for rumble playlists if any player has at least 100 points. Private matches, removed power and vehicle option, added ammo and respawn options to vary by mode, ammunition, default, no special, no heavy, no ammo crates. Respawns, teammate revives instant, after 3 seconds, after 5 seconds and after 10 seconds. Vehicles are now enabled on maps that support them except in inferno modes. Round time options adjusted for elimination to default to 90 seconds to match the playlist setting. Maps, fixed an issue where players were able to leave the intended playable area on Icarus and Skyline. You glitching motherfuckers. Patrols, fixed an issue where playground patrols were not dropping collection items. Grimoire, Grimoire card SRL Sparrow Racing can now also be earned from private matches using a Sparrow Racing game type. Players who have acquired the year 3 cover stuff will be awarded all Grimoire cards for cover stuff and manual pages, including pages 1, 15 and 17 upon entering orbit. Players will now be awarded with the year 1 Icebreaker Grimoire card upon requiring the year 3 icebreaker, players who already have acquired the year 3 icebreaker will receive a card upon entering orbit. Sandbox changes, health regen changes, changes reverted, the Suros legacy perk, no backup plans, ward of dawn cast, apotheosis veil and embrace the void. Kept the recent changes but increased the amount of health shield given per kill from 36 to 57. Hungering blade, transfusion, cooldown was also removed. Quarter Rise cooldown was also removed. Red Death Perk Lifesteal also applies to the RAM. The Memory of Scurry will now require a kill to start working and will charge supers for one minute or until the round ends or the player dies. Sidearms will no longer allow ammo to stack through death and instead will reset to a single magazine every respawn. Added one round to choose maximum inventory and increase the reload speed to max. Added more flinch to no land beyond and widened its potential recoil space. It will recoil the same amount but not necessarily in the same direction. Recovery reduction was removed from the blink talent grid nodes and the time the player was left hoodless has been lowered. Hand cannon range fall off now starts 3 meters earlier. Auto rifles minimum damage, damage done at a maximum range fall off increased by 7%. Kills with a necrochasm no longer require headshots to explode enemies. Flying enemies such as shanks and wizards do not explode. Increased recovery given by astrozite versus move to survive perk from plus 3 to plus 7. Fixed an issue where the rescue mag perk would replenish ammunition when taking self damage. Fixed an issue where changes to the shotgun perk or rangefinder intended with hotfix 2.5.0.2 did not go into effect. Fixed an issue that where changes to shotguns in air accuracy did not go into effect. Strikes, new nightfall modifier, daybreak, combines the epic and mayhem modifiers every fourth week. Nightfall blue frames and that radiant light reputation bonus on completion have returned fucking finally. More aggressive idle player detection, now in line with crucible activity. Fixed an issue in the nexus where the Aegis would be continuously deleted and respawned. Fixed an issue in the shadow thief where players would get their joining allies message while in the playable space during the fight with Tanix. Vendors, increased the reputation awarded by the gunsmith for completing weapon tests. Eris Mod now accepts Mordering Shards and charge antiquated runes as donations in exchange for Crota's Bane reputation. Adjusted the price of ammo synthesis for purchase from Eris Mon. Shiro 4 will now accept Eyes and Fire tokens in exchange for 500 Vanguard reputation. That's good because I got fucking hundreds of these things. The Crucible Quartermaster now sells ammo synthesis consumables in exchange for Hayden Flakes. Vendor items sold for legendary marks have had their light levels increased to 380. Vendors selling level 40 legendary armor and weapons now update perks and stats at the weekly reset. This includes the following vendors, Vanguard Mentors and uh, Quartermaster, Crucible Quartermaster, Lord Shaxx, Dead Orbit, New Monarchy and Future War Cult. Zer now sells two exotic weapon bundles each week in addition to his regular weekly sale items. Each bundle costs 30 strange coins and 25 silver dust and contains one exotic weapon and one matching weapon ornament. Now this is fucking pretty badass to be honest. 
I like this new addition to Zer, I really do. Two new emotes are available from the emote chaos, please and thanks if you didn't know about that. Adjusted the rarity of certain ships available from Amanda Holiday. Moving on to the Silver Dust Store, many Everest items available from the Dawning are now available on the Silver Dust Kiosk. Sterling and Radiant Treasures have been removed from the Silver Dust Store. New Silver Dust Engram items have been added to the Silver Dust Store and their corresponding vendors for a cost of 5 Silver Dust each. Items obtained from these engrams dismantle into one dust, silver dust that being. Arena engram, Lord Shax contains infusible crucible armor from year 1 and year 2. Exodus engram, this is from the dead orbit vendor, contains infusible dead orbit armor from year 1 and year 2. Warpath engram, this being from future warcult, contains infusible future warcult armor from year 1 and year 2. Unity engram, Executor Hydeo, contains infusible new monarchy armor from year 1 and year 2. Triad Engram Vanguard Mentors contains infusible Vanguard armor from year 1 and year 2. Sterling Engram Silver Dust Store contains Spectre armor from year 2 Sterling Treasure. Icy Engram from the Silver Dust Store contains Chroma armor from Treasures of the Dawning. Cost is 10 silver dust, item dismantle to 5 silver dust. Players who have previously obtained Dawning and Desolate arm pieces may purchase these items from the silver dust store. Eververse, Treasure of the Ages is now available for purchase from Eververse. The Treasure of the Ages contains existing Eververse items as well as many new items to collect. Shaders, weapon ornaments, ships, triumph armor sets. Players can also receive up to 3, 3 Treasures of the Ages per account per week. For their first completion of the following activities heroic strike playlist weekly crucible playlist and weekly story playlist and last but not least moving on to general fixing the issue impacting some players ability to join fire teams over local network connections fixing the issue uh, preventing dropped engrams from being sent to the postmaster if the player disconnects without returning to orbit Fix the bug causing equipped sniper rifles to occasionally become invisible. Fix an issue that allowed supers to stay activated longer than intended. Twilight Garrison now changes colour to match the equipped shader. Epic. Skeleton keys and Seaver fragments may now appear at Pulsemaster to prevent an issue where these items may have been removed from the character's inventory. And that is it for the 2.6.0 patch notes. Uh, quite a few interesting things here. The main thing I'm curious to see about is the Zer new package, that exotic package bringing, um, well, costing 30 strange coins and 25 silver dust, but will bring you, will give you a random exotic with an ornament already applied. That sounds pretty badass to me. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out. Thanks as always for stopping by, and I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. Get it right.